Hi, my name is Dina, and welcome to your prenatal energizer flow. This class is designed to make you feel a little bit more energized on the days when you are feeling tired. Uh, of course, listen to your body before you start any practice. No props needed, unless you feel like you need to use two blocks, then of course you can have them handy, but otherwise I'm going to offer another variation of how we flow today. So we're going to start by sitting, take your comfortable seat, cross-legged position, or just like me, in half lotus pose. Take your hands on your knees and just close your eyes, we're going to breathe together, just to sort of center ourselves and welcome our body onto the mat. So taking a deep inhalation through the nose, relaxing your shoulders, and as you exhale, empty your lungs. Again, taking a deep breath in. Exhale and empty your lungs. Again, inhaling in. Exhale and empty. Keep going like this, checking the different parts of your body. If there are any areas that need some special support today, or what's your baby telling you? And based on how you feel, we're going to go to the next level. So slowly open your eyes and reach your arms up, inhaling here. And as you exhale, you're going to take your right hand down on your mat. Extend the left arm up, but keep the arm plugged into the shoulder socket. So inhaling here, and as you exhale, side bend over towards the right side, taking the hips towards the left. And now inhale as you open into that left shoulder. Take a look under your left armpit. And as you exhale, you're going to take a look at your right knee. Extend the left arm forward. This will help you stretch into your side waist muscles. Inhale, extending the left arm up. And as you exhale, bring it in, extend it towards the right. One more time, inhale, take it up. Soft bending in the elbow. And as you exhale, you're gonna straighten your arm and point it towards the right. Keep holding the position here, extend the spine forward, take another breath here, and slowly release, come on back up, and we're reversing sides. Left hand's gonna come down, right arm's gonna lift up. Again, shoulder relaxed, inhale. And as you exhale, side bend over towards the left side, taking the hips towards the right. Now inhale as you take a look under your right armpit, soft bending in the elbow. And as you exhale, extend the right arm towards the left. Again, inhale, extend, take a look under your right armpit, stretching. And as you exhale, extend the right arm forward. One more time, inhale as you extend. And as you exhale, take it forward towards the left side, keep it here. Opening into your chest area, avoid rounding into your spine. Let's do one more breath. And then slowly release, reach those arms up. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. We're going to slowly transfer onto hands and knees. You can just release your cross-legged position and make your way to your hands and knees. Once you get into the position, make sure the feet are hip width distance apart and the knees are right under your hips. Take your hands under your shoulders and make sure they are shoulder width distance apart. Pressing index and thumb fingers, especially down on your mat, and separating your ten fingers away from each other. Keep the biceps rotating forward. This will help you avoid bending into the elbows. Now, inhale as you drop your belly button down, arc into your spine, look up, bring the shoulder blades towards each other. And as you exhale, round, lower back, middle back, upper back, finally into the shoulders. Press the floor away once you get into your shoulders. It will give you a nice stretch into your shoulders. Inhale as you arc into your spine, looking up, shoulder blades towards each other. And as you exhale, round. Keep going like this. Inhale as you arc into your spine. And as you exhale, round. This is a really nice movement to help you with your uh, back pain, especially when you're pregnant and you're carrying a lot of weight in your belly area. Your back starts screaming sometimes, so this is a good lubricating movement to the spine. One last time, inhale, and as you exhale, round. Now on your next inhalation, you're gonna curl your toes under if they're not already there. Press back into your downward facing dog, exhale here. If you are in your third trimester and you're feeling heavy already, you may need to stay in all four without any problem. But if downward dog is there for you today, separate the feet at least hip width distance apart. You may need to walk them wider if you are more advanced in your pregnancy. Your heels don't have to touch the mat, just send them in that direction. 
Lift your sitting bones up and let your head relax completely. Let your spine really elongate here. Create a lot of space between the head and the shoulders. So no tension in your shoulder area. Keep pressing index and thumb fingers down. And now if you want to pedal your feet, just bend one knee at a time, go ahead. This will give you a nice stretch in your calf muscles and will help you in case you're suffering from leg cramps in the middle of the night. And then slowly to exit the pose, we're gonna bend the knees, walk your hands towards the back of your mat. It's so much easier as your belly grows to walk the hands back than to walk forward. Keep yourself bending in the knees and then slowly make your way up, reach up, Uttanasana at the back of your mat and then lifting up to your mountain pose. Inhale and as you exhale, you're gonna again drop down. This time your left hand is gonna be on your left chin or down on your mat if your hamstrings are already open. You're gonna keep the left knee bent, straighten into your right leg and inhale, reach your right arm gently and softly. We're twisting, we're opening from the shoulder area and not from the belly area. Keep the belly where it is. Inhale and as you exhale, release. Reversing side, so the right hand is going to come down, shin or down on your mat. Left arm is going to extend up and just open from the shoulder area. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, release. And then slowly, one vertebra at a time, you're going to roll your spine up, reach up. Exhale back into your mountain pose. And now we're going to step to the top of the mat and this is where we're going to get into the flow. So the feet are going to be hip width distance apart again and the hands are going to be on your hips. We're starting with the right side. You're going to softly bend into your knees. On your next inhalation, take your right leg back, back, back into a lunge position. If you are feeling tired in your legs or heavy, you may need to take warrior one position with the back leg. But if you're okay with the lunge, inhale and as you exhale, bend both your knees. If you are in warrior one position, you may hold the pose. Inhale, straighten both your legs. Exhale, bend both your knees. We're just energizing through the legs a little bit. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend both your knees. Stay here if you can, take another breath in. Maybe extend the arms up. And as you exhale, release, gently step to the top of your mat. We're repeating the same thing on the left side. So the feet are hip-width distance apart, soft bending in the knees. Inhale, your left leg back. Exhale, place the ball of the foot down or warrior one and you can hold it if you're taking warrior one. If you're in lunge position, inhale, exhale, bend both your knees, keep the chest open. Inhale, straighten into your legs, exhale as you bend both your knees. One more time, inhale, straighten, exhale as you bend, keep on wrapping the abdominals around your baby. Hold the position and if you can, extend the arms up, reach up. And as you exhale, release, we're going to gently step to the top of the mat. Adding on to our sequence, feet are still hip width distance apart. On your next inhalation, bend your knees softly, exhale your right leg back, take it into a lunge position, and then you're going to start bending into your knees. Make sure the feet are at least hip width distance apart, yeah? And then slowly bend, 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 mindfully drop the right knee down on your mat. Stay in your 90 degree angle with that left leg. Inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, open into your chest. Just hold it here. Take another breath in, and as you exhale, release. We're going to step to the top of the mat, so pick the back knee up and step to the top of your mat. Left side, bend your knees softly. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, take it back. Starting here and then we're going to slowly bend into the left knee and mindfully drop the knee down on the mat. Keep that 90 degree angle with the right leg. Inhale, reach your arms up and as you exhale, open into your chest. Keep magnetizing the right foot towards the left, the left towards the right. This will help you square off your hips. Take another breath here. And then slowly we're going to release, lift the left knee up and step to the top of your mat. Adding on to our sequence. Now inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands on your shins or on your thighs or even down on either side of your feet, or maybe a little bit forward if your belly is big. Inhale, off your chest forward, and as you exhale, take your hands onto your hips. On your next inhalation, you're gonna take your right leg back, back, back into a lunge position as we did earlier. Exhale, drop the right knee down. On your next inhalation, reach your arms up if it's okay for you. And as you exhale, this time we're going to drop your hips slow. Watch that the left heel doesn't lift up. If it's lifting up, you need to walk the left foot a little bit forward so that you have a 90 degree angle and the knee is over the ankle. 
Inhale, lift out of your lunge, and as you exhale, drop. Two more, inhale, lifting. Exhale as you drop. Last one, inhale as you lift. Exhale as you drop, open into your chest. On your next inhalation, left hand will come on your left thigh, right hand will be down on your mat, and then the left hand will meet it, slowly step back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees softly, and as you exhale, start walking your hands towards the back. Support yourself, take your hands onto your thighs, and then lift yourself up. Feet are still parallel to each other, taking chair pose. Knees are still in one line with your toes. Take your sitting bones back, but try not to over arc into your spine, so keep the tailbone curled under. Inhale as you reach your arms up, and as you exhale, dive in. Inhale, bend your knees, reach up, and as you exhale, dive in. One more time, inhale up, and as you exhale, dive in. On your next inhalation, you're gonna reach yourself all the way up. Exhale into your mountain pose, bring the feet together. You're gonna turn the right toes out and then extend the left leg forward. It becomes a pyramid pose. Again, you wanna have some space for your belly, so walk the left foot a little bit further towards the left. Make sure the right small toe is planted down on your mat, left big toe is planted down. Now, with the help of your hands, move the left hip back, right hip forward. We're getting into the hamstrings. Inhale as you reach your arms up, and as you exhale, come forward, chest is parallel to the mat, fly your arms by your hips. Two more, inhale, lift up, exhale, fly your arms by your hips. Last one, inhale as you lift up, exhale as you fly your arms by your hips. On your next inhalation, you're gonna lift yourself up, take your hands on your hips, exhale, turn to face the right side, so now you are in straddle split. Right hand will come onto your right thigh, inhale your left arm up, exhale side bend over towards the right. Let's reverse the side, left hand will come down, inhale right arm up, exhale side bend over towards the left. Inhale both arms up, as you exhale your left foot is going to turn out, keep the right foot as it is, preparing for triangle pose. Reach your arms into a T shape, inhale, and as you exhale lean over towards that left side. At your maximum, your left hand can land on your shin, your ankle, or even down on your mat, whatever feels good for you, and then extend the right arm up. And in this variation, imagine there's a wall behind you, so lean back, you're gonna get a nice stretch in your shoulder. Take another breath here, pull the kneecaps up, especially the left one. And as you exhale, look down, make your way up, take your hands onto your hips, slide the right foot to meet the left one at the top of your mat. Let's take a breath before we go to the left side. Inhaling, exhale, and now reach your arms up. Inhale, and as you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands could be here on your shin or down on your mat. Inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, take your hands onto your hips. Inhale, shift your weight to the right foot. Exhale, take that left leg back. Once you feel settled, then you drop the left knee down on your mat. Make sure the right knee is over the ankle. And now inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, drop those hips low. Two more times like this. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, dropping low. One more, inhale as you reach up. Exhale as you drop low. Keep magnetizing the right foot towards the left, the left towards the right. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, right hand will come on your thigh, left hand down, and then the right hand will meet it downward facing dog. Again, soft bending in the knees. We're walking the hands back. On your next inhalation, start walking back. Then support yourself. Take your hands on your thighs, preparing for chair pose pulses. Three rounds. Toes are parallel to each other, and they're facing forward the knees in one line with your toes. Inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, fly your arms by your hips. Two more. Inhale, bend your knees, reach up. Exhale, take the arms by the hips. One last time, inhale, reach up, exhale, take the arms by the hips. Now inhale, reach up, exhale into your mountain pose, taking the hands onto your hips. Bring the feet together and open the left toes out to the side. Then take your right foot forward, pyramid pose. And then you're going to walk the right foot till you create some space for your belly area. With the help of your hands, right hip back, left hip forward, right small big toe down on your mat, left small toe down, pressing on the mat. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, come forward, arms by the hips. 
Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, come forward. One more. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you come forward. Now inhale as you lift up. Exhale, hands onto your hips. Turn to face the left edge of your mat so your back and your strata split. Heels are out, toes are in. Kneecaps are pulled up. Left hand on your left thigh. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, side bend over towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse the hands. Right hand down, left arm to the left to the right. Inhale, back into the center. Open your arms into a T-shape. Exhale, right foot goes out, triangle pose. On your next inhalation, lean over towards the right side. At your maximum, right hand will come down. Your own variation, shin, ankle, or down on your mat, inside or outside, whatever works for you. And then open your chest. And again, you want to imagine there's a wall behind you and lean back against that wall. Pull the right kneecap, especially up, stacking the left hip on top of the right one. On your next inhalation, look down, slowly make your way up. Take your hands onto your hips and slide the left foot forward. Let's take a breath here, inhale and exhale. Good. Round number two. Feet are still parallel to each other. Inhale as you reach your arms up and as you exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands here or down. Inhale as you offer your chest forward and as you exhale, lift your hands onto your hips. Weight is on the left foot. On your next inhalation, take your right leg back. Lunge position and then slowly drop the right knee down on your mat. This time you're going to keep the left hand on your hip. Reach your right arm up. Inhale and as you exhale, drop your hips and then reach your right arm over towards the left side. Avoid dipping the chest forward. Keep the chest open but engage your abdominals. Protect your back. Take another breath here. And let's release. Right hand will come down, left hand will come down, and then slowly transition into your downward facing dog. Take your time. On your next inhalation, walk your hands towards the back of your mat. And then take your hands on your thighs. From here, you're going to open your toes out. We're taking three half squats. Knees and toes are again facing the same direction. Inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, take prayer pose and squat only halfway. Engage your abdominals. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, squat. One more. Inhale as you lift up. And as you exhale, squat. Hold it here. One deep inhalation. Full exhalation. And then slowly reach up. Take your hands onto your hips. Bring those feet together. You're going to open the right toes out. Extend the left foot forward. Again, pyramid pose, this time with another variation. So again, widen the space between the legs. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace, inhale, reach your chest up, right hip forward, left hip back, and as you exhale, come forward with a straight back, so avoid rounding into your spine in order to come forward. Keep the chest open and come into a nice stretch in the back of your left leg, never a painful one. Let's do one more breath here, and then slowly as possible, lift yourself up, release the hands, turn to face the right edge of the mat, and widen the space between the legs, preparing for warrior two. So you're going to bend into your left knee. Left toes are pointing out towards the left side. Make sure you can see the left big toe from your left knee. Right leg is straight. Push the thigh bone back and plant the right small toe down on your mat. Make sure the left knee doesn't go beyond 90 degrees. Just stay at 90 degrees and then open your arms into a T-shape. Relax into your shoulders. Take a look at your left fingertips as you drop your left hip lower. Now inhale as you lean forward towards the left side. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale as you lean back. One more time. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lean back. You're going to stay here. Right hand will come down, left arm up, reverse your warrior. Take another breath here. And now straighten into your left leg, reverse triangle for just a moment. And then rebend into your left knee, come through warrior two. Exhale, lean over towards the left side. Then you're going to take your left arm onto the left side, right arm up by the ear and open your chest over towards the right side. Let's do one more breath here. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly come back into your warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Take your hands onto your hips. One step, two steps, ten steps, whatever it takes to make your way to the top of your mat. Left side, feet parallel to each other. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, dive in. 
Inhale, offer your chest forward. Exhale, take your hands on your hips. Inhale, reach halfway up. And as you exhale, left leg will go back. Mindfully dropping the left knee down, making sure the right foot, ankle is over the knee. Keep the right hand on your right hip. Inhale, your left arm up. And as you exhale, side bend over towards the right side as you drop the hips low. Keep the chest open. And then let's release. Left hand will come down. Right hand will come down. Downward facing dog. Preparing for three half squats again. On your next inhalation, walk your hands towards the back of your mat. Support yourself. Take your hands on your thighs and then slowly rise up. Turn the toes out. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, squat halfway only. And again, avoid overarching the spine. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squat halfway. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, squat halfway. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Take your hands onto your hips. Bring the feet together. We're going to turn the left toes out and bring the right foot forward, pyramid pose variation. And then manually take the right hip back, left hip forward. Take your hands behind your back, interlace. Shoulder blades towards each other. Hug your baby in. Inhale, reach your arms up, your chest up. And as you exhale, come forward into a nice stretch in the back of your right leg. Keeping the spine long and breathing into the back of your right leg. Take another breath here. And slowly release. Turn to face the left edge of your mat. Straddle split and then you're going to turn the right toes out. Bend into your right knee, preparing for warrior two. So the knee is over the toes. Make sure you can see the right big toe. Left thigh bone is pressing back. Small left toe is pressing back on your mat. Then you add the arms. Take your tailbone under. Try not to overarch your spine again. Take a look at your right fingertips. And let's flow from here. Inhale as you come forward towards the right side. Exhale, lean over towards the left. Again, inhale, come forward. Exhale, lean towards the left. One more time, inhale, come forward, exhale, lean back, stay here, take the left hand down, right arm up, reverse your warrior. On your next inhalation, straighten into your right leg, turn it into a reverse trikonasana. And as you exhale, rebend into your right knee, preparing for side angle pose. So you're going to lean over towards the right side, and then take your right forearm onto the right thigh, left arm up, and then open your chest towards the ceiling a little bit. Dropping the left shoulder down. Take another breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release, come back into your warrior two. Hands will come onto your hips and take one step, two steps, ten steps, whatever it takes to make your way to the top of your mat. Separate the feet hip width distance apart. Take one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, and just breathe here. And just observe. On your next inhalation, slowly open your eyes, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, release. We're slowly transitioning onto the floor series. Inhale, arms will float up, and as you exhale, turn the toes out, and slowly come down uh, through squatting into downward facing dog. Pigeon pose on the right side. On your next inhalation, take the right chin in the space behind your hands. Drop the left knee down, but before you settle into the pigeon, make sure that if your hips are tight, you want to have the left foot very uh, right foot very close to your left hip. If you are already open in your hips, you may bring the shin parallel, but then you have to really flex into your uh, foot. Now, left foot, make sure it's in one line with your hip. And then come into a nice stretch in the back of your right leg. So even if you want to hold it here, you hold it. If you want to place a blanket under your right thigh, you can, of course, place it just to support yourself. But if you're okay to go back, come on back. Breathing here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, come down onto your elbows. And just settle here and breathe. And avoid bringing the shoulders towards the ears. Just open into your chest. You can just close your eyes and take three breaths here. And really avoid the temptation of leaning onto the right side. Square off the hips as much as possible and soften your face. Now slowly you're going to rise up, downward facing dog, and then make your way back. 
It might help to just pedal your feet. Pigeon pose on the left side. Take the left chin and the space behind your hands. And again, same thing. Find your alignment. Foot very close to your right hip bone or shin parallel to the mat. Right knee in one line with your hip. And then drop. Once you feel settled, now you come down on your elbows. Again, you want to really broaden the space between the neck and the shoulders. Avoid the temptation of going on to the left side now. And take three more breaths. So slowly start rising up from your pigeon pose. Stay seated this time. Just bring the right foot in. And turn towards the long edge of your mat. You're going to extend the left leg straight. Bring the right knee in and see if you can perhaps, perhaps, align the right knee with the left foot. It doesn't have to happen, just maybe. Make sure the left knee and the left toes are pointing in the same directions. Abdominals are engaged. Take the left hand onto your left chin. Inhale, right arm up. And as you exhale, side bend over towards the left. Drop the right shoulder down and you can look up if it's convenient for you. This is one of my favorite stretches because it's really good for your lower back. Another breath here. And release. Take your right hand down if you still have the energy. Left foot will come down on your mat and then take it into a variation of side plank. Just lift up. And then slowly release. Lift your left toes and then drop your hips down. Reverse the feet. Left foot will come in. Right leg will go out. Same thing, right toes in one line with your, um, with your knee. Right hand will come on your hip, on, on your shin, I'm sorry. Inhale, left arm up, and as you exhale, side bend over towards the right. Keep the chest open, relax your left shoulder. Looking up or down doesn't really matter as long as you feel good in that stretch. And then gently release. Left hand will come down, right toes will come down on your mat and then extend the right arm up, take it over into a variation of side plank. And then gently release, lift your right toes up. From here, you're gonna extend both legs. Bend your knees in this variation and separate the feet uh, a little bit away from each other. This is just to sort of rela relax down a little bit. Take your hands, maybe place them on your big toes or just place them here. Relax your head completely. You can just close your eyes. Preparing yourself for Shavasana because we're done. Then slowly lift yourself up. Shavasana will be on your own, so you can just take it five minutes, two minutes, whatever works for you. If you don't have time for Shavasana, just come into a seated position. Close your eyes. Take your hands into your prayer pose. And then slowly open your eyes. Thank you for joining me today in our Energizer Flow. Namaste.